Shri Gurbhyo Namaha children. Welcome to our online teaching academy Ekalaiva. Now I am going to discuss exercise 9.3. Second sum. Listen children. Draw a quadrilateral P, Q or S. Draw its diagonal. The first step I am going to draw a quadrilateral. So, so this is my quadrilateral. I am drawing here. In this, I am going to mark P, Q or S. Okay. After drawing this quadrilateral, I am going to draw the diagonals. So, the diagonals, how can I draw this? P, R and S, Q or the two diagonals of a quadrilateral. Is it clear? Is the meeting point. Meeting point means what? This is your meeting point. Got it? A quadrilateral I have drawn and I am going to draw the diagonals inside. And what is given here? Meeting point of the diagonal. So, this is your meeting point of a diagonal in the interior or exterior of the quadrilateral. I am going to find out the meeting point is in the interior or exterior. So, it is interior. How can I say this? So, because listen, see for example, here I marked Q, R means this is the exterior. Inside means A, B. Inside the figure it is a pointed. So, it is a interior. Suppose I am marking in the line means on the line. Okay, on the quadrilateral I marked. For example, D, C, E here. A, B are the interior points. C, D, E are the on the quadrilateral and Q and R are the exterior points. So, listen to that and where the point is there? Inside. So, interior. I am going to write the answer to be what? The diagonals in the interior. Okay. Interior of the quadrilateral. Can you clear this children? Shall I move on to the next sum? Again, draw a quadrilateral. So, here I am going to draw the quadrilateral. I have drawn and I am going to make it what? K, L, M, N. Okay, a quadrilateral which is having four sides, four vertex and two diagonals. Is it clear? Now, I have, I have drawn the quadrilateral and I, I have marked the K, L, M, N. Okay, see what is my first question? Two pairs of opposite sides. What are the opposite sides? See, I can say K, N. It is a side, is it or not? And ML, it is also a side. As well as KL is also a side. As well, NM is also a side. Okay. So, what are the two pairs here? Listen. KL and what is that? KL, NM. Next one. KN and M L. So, these are the two pairs of opposite sides. Now, I am moving for the two pairs of opposite angles. See, listen children. Here, how many angles I am having? Angle K, angle L, angle M as well angle N. So, four angles because a four vertex you are having. So, four angles you are having. Is it or not? How many vertex that much of angles uh, you are having? So, for that two pairs of they are asking about the opposite angles. What they are asking? Opposite angles. What are the opposite angle? Angle means I have to mention in what? 
see like this this is angle what is that this is angle k and angle m or the opposite angles a one pair is what angle k as well as angle m and the next one is what angle n comma angle l so these are the two pairs of opposite angles k m as well as n l so okay so this is the opposite angle k angle m or the opposite as well as l opposite is what angle n can you clear this children so if it is side means i am going to write the side so k l l n m and k n and m l the second one is we are talking about the opposite angles so angle k is what is the opposite of this just see the diagonals what i have drawn the diagonal there so k m is your opposite angle as well as l angle n and angle n or the opposite angles now i am going to talk about the two pairs of adjacent sides okay what are the adjacent sides here k l and l m okay so k what is adjacent of a k which is what l and l adjacent which is what you are m so your adjacent sides are k l as well l m next l m and n m okay l m as well as m n can you clear this k l as well as what is that so here k l m means k l l m so these are the adjacent sides when i am taking a uh, l m okay l m and n m are the adjacent sides now i am moving for the pairs of adjacent angles what are the adjacent angles angle k adjacent so next what is that k l so it is a adjacent angle and m n or the adjacent angles okay m and n or the adjacent angles can you clear this children opposite sides opposite angles adjacent sides as well adjacent angles shall i move on to the next sum now i am moving for the fourth sum here a circle which is given and i am going to find out the parts of a circle okay listen here a circle which is given what is the center so this is your center okay and what they marked here o so the center is what o can you clear this children so when you draw a compass with the help of the compass you can draw a circle and there is a hole while you are drawing so that hole is nothing but the center of the circle center of the circle means all your radii are what equal distance okay now three radii i am going to write down write, write down now here listen this is my center and from center to the circumference of the circle listen this is a your full circle is your circumference of the circle here the center is what o from the center to where you touch the circumference of the circle that is your radii so o to b is it or not so o to b comma and o d next what is that o e so o e can you clear this children three radii i have drawn from the center of the circle to the circumference of the circle so o to b o to d as well o to e now i am moving for the card what is mean by a card 
a starting point as well as a ending point is in the circumference of the circle okay see this e and b only like that as d is also there but it should not another point should not touch in the circumference of the circle where it touch is it is touch in the center of the circle so i cannot consider it as to be a card what it is a radius card means the tool a line segment which can be joined in the circumference of the circle so eb is the card okay and two points in the interior suppose if i mark inside the circle then it is a interior if i mark outside of the circle then it is a exterior if i marked on the circle then it is said to be what boundary means it is on the circle can you clear this children so two points in the interior i am going to write what is the two points p and q got it so these are the two points in the interior now a point a point means what only one point so that point should be in the exterior so what is that point here a is also there but it is on the circle on a circle okay boundary of a circle i can take a exterior is what s so s now what is my minor and major segment see listen see listen for example i am taking one a cake for you see cake or pizza how can i cut that into suppose if i want a, a piece from the, in this cake how can i cut this like this i can cut and i can remove this okay see this is nothing but sector can you understand this this is nothing but what sector and this sector is nothing but your minor sector and these part which is having more area so far this one is what your major sector can you understand this children see normally pizza cake if i want a, a piece from in that how can i cut i can cut like this so this is said to be a sector which is having a smaller part so it is a minor if it is having more area means it is a major sector so from this circle o b c d is a minor and this part is what see this is your minor part and this part is your major sector can you understand this children shall i write this o b c d which is your minor sector o b c d now i am going to write my major sector o b a d listen o b a d so these part so this full part is nothing but major okay and this is the part which is minor can you understand can you differentiate between these two so major sector and this one is what you are minor sector thank you children to receive our online lesson please press the subscribe button and you will get the latest updates thank you